Greetings, and welcome to another World of Tanks. Now, occasionally I get complimented on my statistics, and even more occasionally asked how I got such good statistics. Well, this is one of the ways. I make friends with people like Welly in China, who know how to use their armour and aren't afraid of getting stuck in. And then I hide around the corner and periodically pop out to farm damage on all of the people futilely struggling against their field of bring it on bitches. The best thing about this plan is they're not decoys. If you ignore Welly in China, they will kill you. Of course, if you don't ignore them, you'll bounce on them and then we'll both kill you. So, being top tier heavies, China and I have pushed out quite aggressively to this corner, and we meet our first opponents. So China puts a good shot into the object 263 and then starts pulling back. I'm thinking about going up here to flank them, because there's a few of those guys around there, but a quick look at the minimap says we've got no support. If I go up there, I've got to cover two different angles of approach, and that's going to leave me open to arty or flank by one of them. So I tell China I want to pull back to this corner and hope that that Death Star in the background will cover the rear approach to where we are. Now China says he's going to head off to the left down there and go low. I'm a little concerned about that because I'm worried he's just going to get hammered by that tier 9 artillery. But China says, no no man, I know what I'm doing. So off he goes. The enemy's pushed up into that place. So I'll have a go at that. And they're already starting to bounce shots off of China. Now we're what? Less than two and a half minutes in, we've already lost four tanks on the other flank. And that IS-7 is going to cause me a few problems, because he's doing the same thing I'm doing. He's letting his mates engage. Well, he's about to after he takes that smack. But uh, he lets his mates engage and he waits for me to pop out. However, his friends are taking damage. He might have more of them. There are three tier 10s up there, one heavy and two TDs. And I've only got one mate with me. But I've got China and he doesn't. His friends are all taking damage, and mine isn't. I am, though. So, we've got a scout who looks like he's working his way around behind them. He's trying to put another good shot into the IS-7. I'm hoping this IS-7 is going to pop out again, but he doesn't look keen on doing it. And China is very definitely winning this fight, but yeah, I'm feeling like a bit of a spare wheel here, so I want to get stuck in. But I don't want to take another shot in the side of the head. However, the Death Star's moved up, he's capped the Object 263. The scout's engaging behind. That guy's just fired. Now it's time to get stuck in. And that was a poor shot. I should have had his underplate then, but I actually picked the toughest part of his frontal armour. However, this time... There you go. Now, our Death Star's gone down to the T110E3. Got an IS-8 round there, but he's in a lot of trouble. So I'm saying to China, I want to push this guy now, get him out of here. We've lost our entire right-hand flank. But this guy has, for the moment, run out of friends. So now is the time to kill him. And there it goes. Now, having seen what's happening behind us, I want to go back. 
so I asked China to deal with the T28 and he's like yeah man no problems which it should be in an IS-7 I briefly think about going up there but that place is full of dead tanks and I don't need to be jockeying for position with that low and go front on into that T110E3 tier 10 tank destroyer there's a leopard on full health pushing our base well he was on full health T110E4 just took a chunk out of him I'll take that and he's slow on the fire extinguisher so I get extra kills there uh, he kills the Leve, China's killed the T28 and I left him on 48 hit points but given the extra damage from the fire that's, that's still not too harsh the artillery whacks the Leopard which is good because that Leopard was a very good player uh, fortunately that was a HE shot from the ISU so it didn't seem to do very much to me at all now, I'd have liked to have got to this guy before he turned around unfortunately China's shot bounces and I do not want to spend too long digging this guy out but at the same time I really don't want to go around and get tracked by him and now the ISU is coming sniffing around so I'm hoping while China's struggling through all those bodies up there if I turn and face the ISU then T110 will do this and I can do that and now the ISU is not feeling so keen anymore however the IS-8 back at base has just finished capping everybody and they've got a few fast tanks left and it's just me China and the artillery so Thank you very much ISU, have that. Lucky fire, it's all good. So, it's back to base time. Now it's looking shaky for a while there, but we can still win this. And I hate those small rocks. How did that tiny rock slow my IS-7 down? But never mind. And there goes our artillery. Now it's just me and China. Although I can hear my father's voice in my head saying, China and I. So it looks like there's going to be at least an IS-8 in between us and the base. And there's the 5100 as well. However, we've got quite a lot of health. And he's behind buildings. So I want to take this IS-8 out. Not sure what he actually did to me. Five hit points. Try and ram him to finish it off, but no. Watching the 5100, but he doesn't appear to be shooting, so I'll finish him off because I'm behind the building. China says he's going for the base to decap. I say cool. I'll try and get the 5100. Yeah, that went into the building, uh, the hill, and the RT finally takes a hand. I was a little surprised he didn't shoot at us earlier in the game to be honest. China takes out the MT-25 who was capping. Now we've got to chase down this French guy. I possibly should have turned right there but I'd forgotten that you couldn't get through easily up here. You used to be able to. Outdated map knowledge. It'll get you killed. But we still got nearly six minutes left. China's got quite a lot of hit points. He says I can handle it. Okay, cool. I'll carry on going up here then. And he starts to do ring ring of roses. So I'm thinking about going back, but China's got it covered. Now it's just the arty. So I suggest to China that he swings round there, and I'll go up round the top and hopefully one or the other of us will spot him if he tries to escape through the middle this way we should have him and there he is 
and there he goes brothers in arms